Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and my craft table. I am so glad that you're here today. I am going to be trying out a new craft called a reverse canvas. So I wanted to share that with you. I finally came up with something that I wanted to put on canvas. So I thought I would try this new technique. And the materials that we need for a project like this is some, I'm going to actually use some iron on vinyl. So I have my design already printed or cut out. I do have my Easy Press Mini. And then I have the canvas. And this is just one from the Dollar Tree. And it, you know, it's the right size. And I thought if in the event that this craft goes completely sideways, I've only lost out on a dollar twenty-five plus a little bit of vinyl. Um, so I do have a, my true control knife, my weeding tool, scissors, measuring tape. Since it's iron-on, I am going to need a lint roller, and then we will need a um, hot glue gun to get it all put back together. Okay, so let's go ahead and let me actually show you the design in design space so you can kind of get a feel for what we're doing and then we will come back and start putting this together i am super excited about trying this one out okay so in design space basically all i did is i made two squares um, from the shapes menu and i sliced out a smaller one from a larger one. I'll just kind of show you how I did that in case you're not familiar with the slice feature. So I had two squares and I made one smaller than the other and I sized them the way I wanted them. So this particular um, frame that I made for my project is six and three quarters by eight and a half. And then the inside uh, square or rectangle that I made was six and a half by eight and a quarter and that allowed me to slice out and get a thin border all the way around my project so two squares then I went to a line center and while they were still um, selected together I just hit slice and I can pull all of those off the other option if you don't want to use the slice tool there's another option that's actually pretty neat I want to share that with you so we've got our square we've got our smaller square so I still need to align center but instead of doing slice you can actually come over here to combine and you can click on subtract and this will actually not only slice out what you don't want, but it will go ahead and delete it for you. And there are times where that is a really good option instead of slice, and then other times slice is way more appropriate. So then after I had my um, frame made, my uh, daughter helped me come up with the um, font so this is really just a typewriter font so I had all of these words these are the fruits of the spirit and I typed them all out made sure I liked their sizing and then I did a line right so they're all right justified and then I attached all of this together that they will cut out exactly the way you see them on the screen and then um, what I did is I attached the entire design so I just selected all of it and I went down and I hit attach down here in my layers menu and that way all of the letters would cut out exactly as you see them and this black frame would also be cut out behind them as well and I didn't have to worry about piecing anything together and I cut this out on heat transfer vinyl the everyday iron-on and so now let's head back over to the overhead camera and start putting the project together okay so one of the first things i need to do is i need to get my canvas ready i'm going to start removing this um canvas 
And what I want to do is I want to go outside of these staples. So I'm just going along the outside perimeter of these staples with my knife. And then we're going to be able to pull that off of there. And then we'll clean up the frame. I've seen this done by a few um, a few online and it's just the neatest project. So yeah, I definitely had to try it. Okay, so the next thing you do is just start pulling off your canvas and if you just you know, if you are into manicures, I would use some tools so that you can protect the mani. My daughter and I went shopping yesterday together. It was super fun. And I actually got a new, um, a new nail polish. I've been, I've been looking at it, um, so at Target, well, and Walmart too, but at Target, you can get lots of the Olive and June nail polishes. I know you can order this system online, but um, we, I just was like, oh, I'll just pick up a new nail polish. I'll give this a try. And I have some of their regular nail polishes in their top coat, but I tried the Quick Dry, y'all. This, in fact, it's here in my crafty space. This quick dry, it, it says it dries in seconds and it lasts for days. Now we'll see how many days it lasts because I just put it on this morning, but it literally dried in seconds. This is a total game changer for me because I am uh, a teacher and a busy mom and crafter and all of that. So. I have limited time and sometimes I just need a quick nail polish coat and I don't want to sit there for 15 minutes waiting for it to dry. So I just thought I would pass on that little tip that the Olive and June quick dry nail polishes are seriously quick dry. They go on super smooth and I'm very impressed. So now the experiment will be to see how many days that it will last. Okay, so this is the canvas and I'm just gonna set that aside for right now. And now we have this frame here. And what I'm gonna do at this time is I'm gonna start going through and pulling up the canvas that is left, I am not going to worry about taking out the staples. I'm just going to leave those. You could totally remove those if you want to. You could paint this frame. And I'm, I think I'm just going to leave the frame the way it is. And leave it, you know, this natural wood color. You could totally paint this frame black or white or whatever color that you are wanting to do. So this will now become the frame for our project, okay? And it's it's actually, it's very rustic, but it's it's really, it's actually very nice and you know, for a dollar twenty-five, pretty, pretty good. So now what we're gonna do is this is the canvas that I pulled off of there, and I am gonna lint roll that and heat it up with my mini. But in the meantime, we need to we need to weed this design and. So I'm 
just going to pull off all of the negative space that I don't want, and then we will be able to put this together. Okay, we've got all of this weeded out, and um, I really like HTV. It's very easy to weed, and I'm just going to place it on here and double check that I have no little um, rogue pieces that don't need to. Okay, I think that looks really good, and I almost didn't put this frame, this black framing around the words, and I'm actually really glad that I did. I think that just lends itself to the the overall project, and it it's just it's so simple and easy. Now you could, I could just think of a million things that we could do on these reverse canvases in fact i just my mind is racing so okay let's set that aside for the moment and next up probably should put this knife cover on yeah you know, this is i have like a bunch of exacto knives in our toolbox and this is the cricut true control knife and i tell you what um i'm very impressed with this this is really awesome and it's I like the feel of the handle I don't feel like um, like it's gonna break on me or anything it's really well made so I'm going to turn on the easy press mini I think I'm just gonna go to medium and um, there's I don't have a lot of vinyl that has to be pressed I think medium will do fine we'll wait for that and Let's see, make sure my glue gun is heating up. I'm just going to heat this up for a minute. This um, prepares the surface and also make sure there's no moisture. And now we're going to get this down and I am going to stand up because I want to try and get it as centered as possible. Okay, actually, that's pretty good. Um, I am going to be placing the frame down around it, but I wanted to have it as centered as possible so that I have plenty of canvas around for trimming. But that's what the final project is going to look like. I think that is so nice. Okay, so now... We're just going to start getting this down here. And my Easy Press Mini and I have spent a lot of time together recently. I've done some shirts for a couple of groups at school. And definitely, definitely learned a lot about large scale designs on a shirt as well as large quantities of shirts but it was fun and you know i'm i'm glad that i was able to be a part of that okay so just kind of getting this melted down on here i shouldn't say melt that's probably not the best word getting this transferred okay so I am going to turn it over and it's really warm and I'm just going to kind of run over the back 
and then we're going to get this to cool. So summer is in nine days for me, three and a half for my soon to be seventh grader. How many days left for your family? If you have children or if you work in a school, how many days left until summer? I'm always interested to know across the country, like where people are going to school. Okay. All right, I think that's good. I'm just going to remove the mat and just let this glass mat help take the heat out. Also, um, down in the comments, let me know what some of your summer bucket list ideas are. I am very interested this summer in having a bucket list. Hiking is definitely going to be on that list for sure. Hiking, swim, hanging out with family, of course. I have a a huge um, content calendar that I've planned out, so there's that. But I think I want to take some road trips also. All right, this is nice and cool, and I'm going to just test the corner and see if I need to. Oh, actually, I don't need to test anything. This is coming up so nicely. Oh, look at that. That is great. Um, oh, something, here's a little tip. I, when I was, if I was making like a bunch of these and I was having to piece things together, I, um, what I did with my big t-shirt orders is like I had one design where I basically sacrificed quite a bit of vinyl. And then I had one carrier sheet and drew on uh, an outline with a Sharpie on the, the outside. So I knew where things were and then pressed it, pulled this up. And then I had the sticky was still clean, but I had the design underneath. And then I was able to piece all of the things back down where they needed to go for the next shirt. And I had a nice carrier sh uh, sheet to help me with exact placement so that they were all alike. It was such a helpful thing. All right, that looks fantastic. Okay, so now, now for the good part. And then we're gonna start, we're gonna get this um, trimmed down and we're, and I'm just going to use hot glue today. I have no idea where my staple gun is. I had one and I think I'm gonna have to get a new one. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make like a line so that I can just trim this off. With scissors, something I was thinking of is this typeset and kind of this simple design would make a great, um, you know, whatever you want to put here in the middle, that it would make a great um, wedding deal. Definitely a nice wedding decor or some kind of gift that you made for the couple. Something to commemorate their special day. Okay, so that goes. And then all right, so 
what I want to do is I'm going to look on the back and see, because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put hot glue around the front and then just lay the frame down on top of that. So let me bring in my hot glue gun. Get a couple of glue sticks. So this glue gun is, it's pretty nice. It has a little stand. I got this at Hobby Lobby, but you know what I like best about it? Is the cord comes off. It's little, takes the little mini tubes and all, but the cord comes off so it doesn't get in my way and I, you know, work a little bit and then I just put it, I just put it back on the cord and let it sit in here and do its thing. So, okay. Well, here we go. If I find my staple gun, I may go back and do staples, but I don't think I'm really going to need to. Okay, so now I'm going to center this before we put it down. Oh, that looks so good. So then here on the back, this is what the back looks like. And this is the front. That looks so nice. Um, I wonder if I have one of those deals for the top here. I may have to get some more of those. If not, I've got wire, so that'd be okay or could use ribbon. All right, well, that is a, an intro project for doing a reversed canvas. Um, this came out way better than I planned, and it was definitely super easy. So this is, this is definitely a nice beginner project, or, you know, even if you're not a beginner. And I could see definitely doing quite a few of these Nice, simple, easy project throughout the house, different holidays, designs, etc. So if you found this video helpful and hopefully inspiring, go ahead and give it a like. And I'd love to have you as a subscriber if you are not already. But don't forget to mention down in the comments what you guys are doing for summer this, this particular season, what kind of bucket list items you're adding to your summer festivities. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. Um, until I see you in the next crafting video, make sure that you enjoy the beautiful weather that we're starting to have and a wonderful cup of coffee. And until I see you next time, happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.